Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to be laser engraving an image on stainless steel. So let's get to it. So we've done a few projects with different stainless steel and trying to engrave on it, but we haven't done like a realistic image on it before. So today's project, we're going to use those medallions that we used before, and we're going to get a picture of Daisy to try to get an engraving on there that looks more realistic as an image. So let's get to designing. Okay, so we're back here in Lightburn and we're going to do another necklace pendant. And for this one, we wanna use an image to try to get some engraving results on stainless steel. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our pendant outline that will help us get our pendant in the right location on the laser. And we're just going to get this set up to our diameter, which is 1.185. And then we're gonna put this on the tool path because we don't actually want to engrave anything here. It's really just so that we can see an outline or contour of our engraving project when we get this in the fiber laser. So the next thing we wanna do is bring in our image that we want to engrave. And we've got this little picture of da Daisy here and we're going to resize this. And what I want to do is I'm going to select our image here, and then I'm going to select our tool path, our outline of our pendant, and then I'm going to right click and apply mask to the image. And what this will do is select the image. It will kind of, you can see here, it will use that tool path to cut out the shape of the picture itself. And now I can resize this. Okay, that looks good to me. The next thing we want to do is right click on this image and then we're going to flatten the image mask. And what that's going to do is it's going to delete the rest of the image. And you can see how it kind of makes it, you know, its own thing right now. It also got rid of our little tool path. So we're going to end up having to make another one of those. Actually, I'm going to just undo this. And then I'm going to take this and duplicate it. Command D or Control D with a Windows machine. And now I'm going to click our image again, right click and flatten image mask. And now you can see it left our duplicated tool path. See? The last thing we wanna do is we wanna make a tiny little circle that really is just gonna be something there for us to see later to make sure that we are in the right spot, centered and oriented correctly to drill out a hole in our pendant so we can put it on a necklace. So I'm just going to put this on a little path here, do a fill line just so we can see it. And then just real small. And then what I wanna do is make sure this is centered in here. So click that, click shift, and then center this up. And I think that's where we need the hole to go for our pendant. And now it's just about getting the settings right. So what we're gonna do is click on our image here, right click and adjust image. And we're gonna use this Jarvis and let's see what dots per inch we want. Let's see what we have. Image settings, 0.3 actually will probably give us a lot of good detail. So I'm gonna leave it like that for our fill, that is also good. Okay, I think we're all set up. Obviously, uh, what you have to be careful of here is not putting too much dots per inch because the laser engraver is only capable of a certain amount of dots per inch. Making this number bigger will make more detail here. However, if it exceeds the detail of your machine, it's not going to help at all. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave this like this and go to the machine. So I'm going to use this tile here. Because we have our picture kind of going all the way to the edge, I don't want it to engrave the top of our laser engraver. So this is really just to get on here to protect it a little bit. So I did change the interval here to 0.01. Let's get this framed out. Mm, let's 
go clean it up. Well, that didn't turn out exactly like I wanted it to. I'm gonna try doing this again to try to get a little bit darker. So that's the first one we did. And we had more detail in this one, but I think that actually stifled the laser from firing like completely. So this one, we turned it down back to the that 0.03, the, the default that it had on there for this particular image. And it actually turned out way darker and kind of nicer. It kind of looks like a sepia tone and kind of have a little brownish in there. So that's actually really nice. I like that we put a little mark there for our drill hole so we can go drill this out to kind of put a little loop on there to connect to a necklace. And then once we drill that hole out, we're going to spray this thing with clear coat to kind of protect this from rusting as well as to kind of give it a nice glossy feel. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so we have our mark there and I'm going to use this little punch here to kind of put a little dent in there so that the drill bit kind of goes where it needs to go. It doesn't wander. Put that there and... Now I got a little dent there that the drill bit can go into. Okay, now I'm just gonna follow it right now with a slightly bigger drill bit to clean up the edges on both sides. Okay, so now we're just gonna clean it up with some alcohol to get the oils off, and then we're going to spray it with clear coat. And let that dry, and then we should have a nice, smooth finish. It's really cool we can engrave kind of a pretty detailed image with a fiber laser. Now we do have a lesson learned here and we really should have just left it at the default dots per inch that came up when we got the image set up. But I decided at the last minute to change it to try to get a little bit more detail out of it and that turned out making it not as good. So we ended up resetting and getting that back to what the default was which turned out a, a very realistic image and it was honestly pretty cool. We've really been enjoying using our Momport fiber laser to do different projects with on different metals and things you wouldn't be able to do with other lasers. So if you want to get one, make sure to use our code ANONYMOUS10 for 10% off. On the Momport website. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.